Hello students, hope all of you are doing good and preparing well for your exams. In this video, I would be covering direct tax amendments which are applicable for November 2023 exams. So, ICI has come out with a statutory update for November 2023 exams where they have covered the amendments applicable for the exams. See here, this document is around 8 to 9 pages. But whatever amendments was already covered for May 2023, they have just repeated all that again. In addition to that, there is only one amendment. So in this video, I would be covering only that additional amendment because I had already made a separate video for May 2023 exams that is with respect to the statutory update which was released by ICEI. Fine guys. So all the amendments, initial amendments, whatever is given here, I had already covered in my May 2023 amendment video i will straight away go to the additions which are made in this november statutory update this is what the addition made in the november 2023 statutory update <clears throat> a new rule has been added this is with respect to linking of other with pan guys so this i am just trying to give a background for this which we already covered in our regular classes so come to the study material in chapter 11 that is assessment procedure come to page number 222 for the topic coating of other number so all this we have covered in detail <coughs> in our class guides so please come to this point intimation of other number to prescribed authority Every person who has been allotted PAN or permanent account number as on 1st July 2017 and who is eligible to obtain Aadhaar number shall intimate his Aadhaar number to the prescribed authority on or before 31st March 2022. So this was the deadline to link the Aadhaar with PAN given to the public or to the associates. It is mandatory to quote and link other number while filing the return of income either manually or electronically unless specifically exempted. Sir, what are the consequences if I don't link it before 31st March 2022? They are told your PAN will become inoperative. So what is it we will see? Consequences of failure to intimate other number. If a person fails to intimate the other number, the permanent account number allotted to such person shall be made inoperative after the date so notified in the prescribed manner. Now they have prescribed that manner. In what manner the PAN will become inoperative if the person has failed to link his Aadhaar with PAN. That is what they have explained by way of this rule which is a new rule added. Let us see this. <clears throat> Substitution of rule 114 AAA specifying the manner of making PAN inoperative. Notification number 15 bar 2023 dated 28th March 2023 read with circular number 3 bar 2023 dated 28th March 2022. Sir, are we supposed to remember this number, date and all? No guys, not so important for exam point of view. Yeah, let me check the uh, <clears throat> provisions now. As per section 139 AA subsection 2, every person who has been allotted PAN as on 1st July 2017 and who is eligible to obtain Aadhaar number shall intimate his Aadhaar number to the Principal Director General of Income Tax or to the Income Tax Department or Principal Director of Income Tax Systems on or before 31st March 2022. This was the deadline which was given by the department to link your Aadhaar with PAN. As per the proviso to section 139 AA subsection 2, in case of failure to intimate the Aadhaar number, PAN would made inoperative after the date so notified. That is 31st March 2022. Sir, will it become inoperative from 1st April 2022 only? No, they have prescribed it. How it will be made inoperative? We will see in such manner as may be prescribed. So this two paragraph is as we have already covered it in our regular classes. Just now even I read it. Fine guys. Accordingly, what is that manner they have prescribed in the rule? Rule 114 AAA specify the manner of making PAN inoperative. However, CBDT has wide this notification as substituted rule 114 AAA. New rule 114 AAA that is new rule has replaced the old rule specify the following manner of making PAN inoperative. 
how is it <clears throat> this is important they have prescribed the manner <clears throat> sub rule 1 that is 114 triple a sub rule 1 date from which pan will become inoperative from what day pan will become inoperative guys see they had given the deadline 31st march 2022 for you to link your other with pan other with pan if you don't do it sir can i do it even after this yes but paying a late fee by paying a late fee of thousand rupees yeah <clears throat> where a person who has been allotted a pan as on 1st july 2017 and is required to intimate his aadhar number under section 139 aa subsection 2 has failed to intimate the same on or before the date that is 31st march 2022 the pan of such person shall become inoperative and it shall be liable for payment of fee specified under section 234H read with rule 114 pi a sir how much is that late fee we have already covered it <clears throat> yeah you can see in my material what is the late fee for linking aadhar with pan after 31st march 2022 it is 1000 rupees guys let me just read it where a person who is required to intimate his aadhar number under section 139 AA subsection 2 fails to do so on or before the notified date which is 31st march 2022 he shall be liable to pay such fee as may be prescribed and that at the time of making such intimation under section 139 AA subsection 2 that is if he is linking after 31st march 2022 and such fee shall not exceed 1000 rupees means the what fee they are leaving for late linking of other with pan is 1000 rupees guys means sir even after 31st march 2022 can we link our other with pan yes you can link but by paying a late fee of 1000 rupees under section 234h okay and they are also talking about if you fail to do before 31st march 22 then it will become inoperative what your pan sub rule 2 when and how inoperative pan become operative where the person has intimated his aadhar number after 31st march 2022 after the payment of fee specified under section 234h read with rule 114 pi a which is 1000 rupees his pan would become operative within 30 days from the date of intimation of aadhar so once you intimate your aadhar means link aadhar with pan within 30 days it will become operative okay then coming to sub rule 3 further consequences of failure to intimate aadhar number what are the further consequences which the person has to face if he has failed to link his aadhar with pan before 31st march 2022 a person whose pan has become inoperative shall be liable for further consequences for the period commencing from the date specified by the board <coughs> till the date it becomes operative namely what are those refund of any amount of tax or part thereof due under the provisions of the act shall not be made even though the assessee is eligible for any refund of whatever tds advanced tax paid in excess or tcs still he cannot claim that refund refund will not be processed when your pan is inoperative next interest shall not be payable on such refund for the period beginning with the date specified and ending with the date on which it becomes operative now see if there is a delay in paying, paying a refund, department will pay the interest to the assessee. But if there is a delay in filing paying the refund because of the PAN becoming inoperative, is department liable to pay interest for it? No. Because it is the default of the assessee. Because the PAN was inoperative, assessee is not able to claim refund. So till his PAN become operative, when will PAN become operative? Only when you link your aadhar with PAN by paying a late fee. So in that case, within 30 days, your PAN will become operative. Till then, refund will not be processed. Now, there is a delay in paying a refund by the department to the associate. Will they give any interest for that delay in period? No. Department will not give any interest for that delay. Next, coming to <clears throat> third point, where tax is deductible under section, under chapter, 17b in case of such person such tax shall be deducted at a higher rate in accordance with the provisions of section 206 aa now 
assume for the SSC whose PAN has become inoperative, if there is any payment to be made by any person, now the, pers the SSC whose PAN is inoperative being a payee, he will not be able to give his PAN because it is inoperative. So in that case, for him 206 AA will be applicable. That is the payer, whoever is paying the amount to the payee whose PAN is inoperative, has to invoke section 206 AA, which tells TDS has to be deducted at IR of actual rate of TDS or 20%. Actual rate of TDS or 20%. Actually, 206 AA tells if payee doesn't give his PAN to the payer, then TDS has to be deducted at IR of actual rate or 20%. But here what they are trying to tell is, if payee PAN has become inoperative, then payer has to apply section 206 AA. He has to deduct TDS as per section 206 AA. Guys. Next coming to fourth point, where tax is collectible at source under section, uh, sorry, under chapter 17 BB, in case of such person, such tax shall be collected at a higher rate in accordance with provisions of section 206 CC. Similar provision is there even in section 206 CC that is with respect to TCS. See, who is supposed to collect TCS? Seller. From whom? Buyer. If buyer doesn't give his PAN to the seller, then section 206 CC is telling collect the TCS at higher of twice the TCS rate or 5%. Twice the TCS rate or 5%, whichever is higher. Now, if the buyer PAN has become inoperative because of failure of linking other with PAN, then it is as if he doesn't have a PAN. So, seller has to apply section 206 CC if he is supposed to collect TCS from the buyer whose PAN has become inoperative. That means he has to collect TCS at what rate? Twice the actual rate of TCS under section 206C subsection 1, 1A, 1H and all or 5% whichever is higher guys. Okay, this sub, uh, sub rule 3, next last one sub rule 4. Date from which consequences specified in rule 114 AAA would become effective. Rule 114 AAA sub rule 4 provides that provisions of sub rule 3 shall be effect from the date specified by the board. That is what they told. It is effective. This consequences will be effective from what date? Date specified by the board. What is that date? Accordingly, the CBDT has where the circular specified that the consequences specified above, whatever we discussed in sub rule 3, will be effective from 1st July 2023 and would continue till the PAN becomes operative by intimating Aadhaar number. A fee of 1000 rupees will continue to apply to make the PAN operative by intimating the other number. So what are they trying to communicate here? Guys, what is the deadline given to link your other with PAN before 31st March 2023 without paying any late fee? Even after that, if you, are, if you want to link, yes, you can do it, but by paying the late fee. So if you are linking your other with PAN, Honor after 31st means uh, after 31st March 22, that is from honor after 1st April 22 till 30th June 22, then you can link it, but by paying a late fee of 1000 rupees. Sir, is consequences whatever is given in sub rule 3 will be applicable? No. If you have linked it on or before 30th June 2022, then consequences will not be applicable, but you have to pay late fee. But you have to pay late fee. Sir, what if I am linking it after 30th June 2022? That is, on or after 1st July 22, if I am linking, then late fee of 1000 rupees is applicable. Plus, even consequences will be applicable. Even whatever consequences is given in sub rule 3 also will be applicable, which means no refund, no interest on refund, TDS and TCS at higher rate. At higher rate guys is that clear means consequences they didn't make it applicable till 30th june 2022 even though you have crossed the deadline some more months time they gave so that some people will do it within that time if you are doing it after 30th june 22 then late fee also is applicable 
then consequences also will be applicable means consequences means your pan will become inoperative and when your pan is inoperative you cannot claim refund no interest on refund for the delay in payment then tds and tcs at higher rate fine sir my pan has become inoperative when will i make it operative only when you link your aadhar with pan by paying a late fee of 1000 rupees and once you link it immediately within 30 days your inoperative pan will become operative and in from that day you will be a normal assessee you can claim refund you can uh, means tds and tcs will be deducted or collected at a appropriate rate as per the respective section guys is that clear yes. <clears throat> so once you have linked your other within 30 days as per sub rule 2 within 30 days it will become operative you means your inoperative pan will become operative then <clears throat> last line here however this consequences whatever is given in sub rule 3 of pan becoming inoperative shall not be applicable to those persons who have been provided exemption from intimating aadhar number for few assessee or for few people linking aadhar with pan is exempted guys for them it is not mandatory so even if they are not linked see they can link it voluntarily but still for them it is not mandatory now if they are not linked within the deadline given will their pan become inoperative no should they face all these consequences no sir which are those people who are exempted from linking other with pan that is the old list which we already covered <clears throat> in our regular class i will just read it out once you can see provision not to apply that is the linking provision not to apply to certain persons or class of persons the provisions of section 139 EA relating to quoting of other number would however not apply to such person or classes or classes of person or any state or part of any state as may be notified by the central government means the power was given to central government to notify any person for whom linking is not applicable guys Accordingly, the central government as effective from 1st July 2017 notified that provisions of section 139AA relating to quoting of other number would not apply to an individual who does not possess other number or enrollment ID. If he has other number, then he has to link it. Sir, he is an individual who does not have other or enrollment ID and he is residing in the states of Assam, Jammu Kashmir and Meghalaya, only these three states. Then he is a non-resident as per Income Tax Act 1961, that is Section 6, which talks about residential status. Then of the age of 80 years or more at any time during the previous year, or he is not a citizen of India. So this four people being an individual who does not have other or enrollment ID was exempted from linking their aadhar with pan sir what if any person is covered in this four points but is having aadhar then it is mandatory for him to link then it is mandatory for them to link guys clear so what they have told in this sub rule last para is whoever has been exempted from linking their aadhar with pan for them this consequences would not be applicable is that clear yes this is all about the only amendment which is covered for November 2023 exams guys. Remaining all I had already covered in my May 2023 amendment video. If you guys have missed out that please do watch and prepare well guys. Thank you. <clears throat>